Hey guys, Cool Calm Curly here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be sharing with you guys my top current favorites as of lately. Quick shout out to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. You dolls know that I try everything under the sun for you guys. I have literally a whole closet full of products. Seriously, a whole closet full. Just in case you dolls thought I was fronting, here's my product stash. So I decided to go through them and just pick out my current favorites that I've been using a lot lately. But before I get into my favorites, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I'll wait. We good? All right, cool. So the first on my list is my Wild Woman Activated Charcoal Clay Mask. I got this from Vanity Planet a couple weeks ago and I have been using it every single week ever since I got this. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, but after the very first time trying it, I instantly noticed it shrunk my pores, it definitely tightened my skin, and when I rinsed it off, I had a nice little glow. So when I say this tightens your skin, like when you put this on, your skin is so tight. Like, I can't eat, I can't drink, I can hardly talk, like I can't even move my mouth because everything is just so tight. So when I'm using this, I usually put this all over my face, plop myself on the couch and set my timer because you don't want this to stay too wet but you also don't want this to get too dry so i always set a timer so that i know exactly when to rinse it off and in between that time i'm either catching up on some of my favorite shows on viceland or playing my best fiends game which is so freaking addictive it's a free puzzle adventure game i'm gonna show you guys so pretty much i have to build a team of fiends to beat the slugs by matching the same colored icons and the best part for me is that the icons don't even have to be in a row they can just be near each other and i can grab as many as i want at the same time so if there's 10 next to each other i can literally grab all 10 and finish the level even faster Starting today, you can also watch the Slugs train in the in-app world premiere of the animated short boot camp. You can also get $5 worth of golden diamonds for free if you download Best Fiends using my link below. So once I'm done playing and my timer is up, I go ahead and rinse this off and like I told y'all guys, I noticed a nice little glow, my pores are much smaller and my skin just feels so nice and tight. And it's made with all natural ingredients. It's also for acne prone skin. For those of you dolls who follow me on Snap, you know a couple weeks ago I had a horrible breakout. So I gave this a try and although my skin has cleared up, I've continued using this. So next on my favorites list is my Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Tropic Isle Living is the only brand of Jamaican Black Castor Oil that I use. I've used others and I always end up coming back to Tropic Isle Living. I absolutely love this on my hair. I've been massaging my scalp with this and I definitely noticed my hair has gotten a bit thicker and you know how like you have flyaways at the top? Like those little flyaways are actually getting longer and growing into the shaft of my hair. Now I know most of us think that Jamaican black castor oil is only for your hair. I definitely thought it was only for my hair for a super long time now, but I actually decided to try this on my skin and guys, I love it so much. I've been using the same moisturizer for years now and Jamaican black castor oil has now replaced my current moisturizer. I have naturally oily skin and you would think that this is way too oily and way too heavy to put on your face, but it's really not. My hair and my skin soaks this right up. It doesn't leave me looking mad oily. It seeps into my skin and leaves it super soft and smooth. This has also really helped me simplify my wash day routine. I haven't been using a bunch of products and you know layering a bunch of stuff on my hair lately. I really just simplified my routine. So after I wash my hair, I just put a little bit of this to seal in that water and that moisture and I'm good to go. So I'll link my current wash day down below for you guys. So my next favorite is my Jane Carter slumber party creamy leave-in and I absolutely love this stuff guys um yeah it's like right at the bottom um i'm gonna need another one pretty soon it leaves my hair super soft this is another product that i can put on my hair all by itself this leave-in is loaded with a bunch of oils so i usually don't have to layer this with an oil it has enough already infused so after i wet my hair i just put this in and i'm good to go this co-wash guys 
This is the Dark and Lovely All Natural Clumping Curls Clay Cleanser. I always mess that up if I don't read it straight off the bottle. This stuff right here, when I say this is so bomb, like seriously, this is all I've been using to cleanse my hair for the past two, three weeks, and I absolutely love it. My hair is so soft, it's so manageable. This definitely clumps your curls. I wish it was a styler because the way my curls are clumped after I apply this and finger detangle with it, my curls look so freaking good. I really wish this was a styler. And it smells really good. It smells just like a, kind of like an orange creamsicle. But this stuff is so amazeballs. This is all I've been using and I don't have any product buildup. I know when we think of co-wash, we think like, oh, you have to clarify your scalp. It's gonna give you product buildup. It's not gonna cleanse your hair. This stuff cleanses my hair. I have not needed to clarify in the past couple weeks. So my next favorite goes hand in hand with this co-wash. And I think this is the reason why I haven't experienced a lot of product buildup after using so much co-wash. This is my uh, Vanity Planet Groove Brush. It's a shampoo brush and a scalp massager all in one. I use this inside and outside the shower. I also featured this in my current wash day routine, so be sure to check that out. I love using this in the shower as my shampoo brush to really massage my scalp and make sure that I'm loosening up any product buildup and any dandruff, any dirt on my scalp. And even when I get out the shower, I use this every single night to massage my scalp. And this is so relaxing. The other night I had turned it on and just left it right on my scalp and I fell asleep. I was in the middle of baking cookies, guys, and I almost burnt my house down because this thing just had me so nice and relaxed that I fell asleep with the massager on my head. If you're not a fan of co-wash and you don't have a scalp massager, I have an alter- wait, my scalp massager, I totally forgot to tell you guys. How the heck did I forget to tell y'all? You can get 50% off of this using my code Amory. I'll definitely leave that below. I can't believe I was about to go through this whole video and not give y'all the coupon for this thing. But back to my back to my co-wash alternative. I was actually using this every single week before I even started using the co-wash. And this is just as moisturizing. It has a great oil infusion. So it doesn't leave my hair stripped, dry, nothing. And I usually lather with this twice when I'm washing my hair. And even after shampooing my hair two times, it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry or stripped. So if you aren't a fan of co-washing, I would definitely give the Main Choice Ancient Egyptian Shampoo a try. And it's also gentle enough for daily use, which is why I guess I never felt like it stripped my hair or made it dry. Um, and it's water-based. So if you do have dry hair and you're looking for a cleanser that's really going to cleanse your scalp without stripping your hair or making it even more dry than it already is, I would definitely give this a try. This is another favorite. This is the Dark and Lovely Au Natural Clumping Curl Cream Gel. So this actually goes hand in hand with the co-wash. So after I co-wash with this, I use my other favorite that I just mentioned, my Jane Carter Leave-In. I use this as a leave-in and then I top it with the Dark and Lovely Cream Gel. And that is how I got this super defined wash and go. And this is actually going on, it's either day three or day four. I can't remember right now, but it's actually a couple days now. And I still have a lot of definition. The clumping curl cream gel definitely did what it said and clumped my curls. I actually have a whole review just on this product, which I'll also link below if you guys wanna check it out. I'm either using a gel for my wash and go or a cream for my wash and go, depending on my mood and what look I'm going for. So this was the first cream gel infusion I ever tried and absolutely love it. And it dries super fast. So when I want a quick defined wash and go, I reach for this. So after cleansing my hair, whether I'm shampooing or co-washing, I always follow up with the deep conditioner. And lately, well not lately, this has been my favorite for a minute. It's, I think it's almost empty. Yeah, only a, a little bit left in here. But um, the main choice ancient Egyptian hair mask is so moisturizing. And I noticed I don't have to leave this in as long as my other deep conditioners. Whenever I deep condition, I usually leave it in minimum half an hour but with this i can literally leave it in 10 15 minutes and my hair is so soft ready to be styled this is also infused with biotin and i've had this for quite a while now and it's still not empty a little bit of this goes a super long way you definitely don't need a big glob of this for every section of your hair like literally guys a little bit of this ran through your hair it melts into your hair and it just it's 
it's amazing but yeah definitely don't need a lot of this so if you are looking for a deep conditioner that's gonna last you i would definitely pick this one up what's next what's next so i have another skin favorite and this is the estee lauder take it away makeup remover which is good for all skin types and this literally just melts my makeup away i just take it's like a cream um yeah, I'm almost, this is another empty, like that's what I need to do. I need to do an empties video, like all my holy grail products that are to the very bottom. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that next. So this will be my current favorites and then I'll definitely show you guys my holy grail slash empty bottle products. But this is almost completely empty, um, but it's just a cream. It's like, a. it feels like a lotion. It's like a lotion. So I just rub this on my hands rub it into my face and it just melts my makeup right off take some water and my um and my face brush and it's all gone and again really gentle on my skin i have super sensitive skin and i have eczema so if you have sensitive skin too i would definitely give these a try because they definitely don't um irritate my skin in any way last but not least i had to show you guys my favorite lip gloss this is one of my favorite lip glosses of all time and every time i'm outside and i whip this baby out i'm always getting stares someone's always asking me where i got it someone's always just looking at me in amazement like does her lip gloss really light up yes my lip gloss really lights up this is my Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the color Crystal. It's a really nice nude tone. You can throw it on top of a nude lipstick for some shimmer and some shine, or you can use it by itself. I usually throw a lip liner on and just use this all by itself. But back to this light up situation. So, cause I know y'all heard that and was like, wait, the lip gloss lights up. Yeah. So when I take this off, ah, oh, do you see that? Like real LED lights right in the lip gloss this is perfect if you in the club you can't see much need to reapply your lip gloss or if you're in one of those bathrooms just have really low dim lighting and you can't really see anything i absolutely love this just take it put a little on so you could clearly see how you're applying your lip gloss Smells good too. Every time I pull this out, I'm getting oohs and ahs. Everyone wants to know where I got it. This is just so freaking cute. Like even if you don't need to reapply your lip gloss, I would just pull this out just to show off. Like, eh, my lip gloss has LED lights and yours doesn't. <laughs> How much was this? This was, this was exactly 10 products. So these are my current top 10 favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll definitely be uploading my holy grail slash empty products just to give you guys a peek into what I've been using for a super long time now and stuff that I just absolutely swear by. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, if you guys have tried any of these products, definitely comment below and let me know if you love them just as much. But until then, I will catch you dolls in the next upload. Bye.